My name is Ian Uche. I'm an artist living in Los Angeles. I consider myself, I'm a very peaceful artist. My work focuses on weaving in contemporary art. In 2000, I spent six months living in the Amazon jungle where I learned weaving from the tribal people. This influenced me to begin making art with an ancient aesthetic. I'm from Korea and Korea has the most heaviest armed border in the world. Two million militaries are always staying in that compact zone and nobody can pass. I understand the US and Mexico border has a lot of problems. Thousands of undocumented workers have died trying to cross this border. First, I was just standing there. I had a very strong feeling. This is where the Latin America begins, but there's no sign, no nothing. So I want to put some uh, public art piece to generate the value of peace to the whole Latin America continent. The nice Mexican people when I'm traveling, they show me the sign of peace. So I decide I want to make exactly that. A gigantic metal peace sign hand sculpture. The hand's fingerprint will be constructed of welded metal wires. Below it will have three layers of water with mist. And any different angle, you will gonna see the rainbow too. Underneath, there will be a circular LCD screen which will produce images of snowflakes. Microphones will be placed in the sculpture when the audience makes sounds that will interact and change the shape of the snowflakes. I'll be working with other artists as well. My name is David Casey. My participation is the interactive sound system. There will be microphones embedded in the sculpture that are going to be listening to the surrounding environments picking up on frequency and amplitude and then transferring that signal to a controller and transform it into snowflake images through the LCD screen. Monumental sculpture tends to create a focal point for a particular region. Creating a gathering space is something that can really transform a location. Well, my name is Bombe. I'm actually from Germany, but he came to me because he saw my fractal animations and was hoping that I could do some kind of a snowflake-like event for him. The idea is to put electronic event that creates light. It will be a overchanging movement, particularly at night, it looks like it's just floating there in the air. The people in Mexico, they are going to have strong pride you look at any city and community, there's these landmarks and these things that sort of become a part of the identity. Porque es un llamado de a la paz, a la tranquilidad, en este espacio que es precisamente el inicio no solo de México, sino de América Latina. This is our chance to reconsider the value of peace in people's everyday lives.